everyone. My name is Dr. Veronica Kelly, and I am the director for San Bernardino County's Department of Behavioral Health, and I want to welcome you all to Meet the Artist. Every year during May is Mental Health Month, this department promotes mental health wellness, suicide prevention, and stigma reduction through a number of community events just like this one. We host the Call for Art and Meet the Artist event to focus on resiliency, creativity, and the therapeutic impact of art. Whether you are the one creating the art or enjoying the art, it helps all of our mental health. Just this month alone, we've received 30 pieces of art and we're still counting. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the artists and their stories here today. We do encourage you to stick around after the event and view a short video of other Call for Art pieces that are currently on display in our online gallery at CelebrateMHM.com. Thank you all for joining us, and we're going to go ahead and begin. So we are starting now with Bree Lopez. Bree? Hello. Um, the first one, um, I made a dark blue forest painting. It shows where I was in the past, where it was really hard for me to let go of my past emotions, which was a lot of PTSD and trauma and anxiety. And I had a lot of future worries where I was going to be. So this one kind of shows where I'm now at peace more in the present. The second one is more um, I'm letting go of all my anger. And I chose a crow because I feel like that shows more, um, it kind of shows more release in that one. And the last one is I'm more happy now because I'm not afraid to be happy. Those are so great, Brie. How long have you been painting? Um, since I was 12. And how old are you now? 21. Excellent. Excellent. Well, those are great pieces, and we thank you so much for sharing those with all of us here. Thank you. Next, we're, we have Catherine Saldana. Yes, this was a mixed media painting about a dream that I, I had one night. I dreamed that the sky rolled back and the hand of God extended. And the hand really was extending a welcome to whomever would want to come up to heaven. Um, I saw that some people were rising up and I saw that others were turning away and that I had a clear choice as to whether I was ready to really meet God. And I had my hesitations about my family thinking they still needed me or I needed to go back and tell um, someone, you know, to come with me. But I heard a voice in my head that said, um, it's okay that uh, those loved ones are still in, you know, my care. And so I raised my hands and I felt that excitement as um, I began to rise up in the rapture. Catherine, that's that's pretty amazing. What medium did you use? Is this digital or is this a photograph? Oh yeah, great question. This is mixed media. So I have a combination of acrylic paint and cutouts. So um, the people are actually cutouts, like um, printed uh, from maybe an advertisement or something uh, along those lines. And then they are incorporated into the painting with, um, of course, you know, some paint, um, black, basically, you know, with um, some of the visual effects of a nighttime scene. Wow, that's pretty cool. Thank you very much, Catherine. Next, we have Char McGinnis. Char? My painting, I, t I took an art class in college. And after the art class, I decided that um, I just took it for the fun of it and to see how things, you know, would look. 
I've never done art before because I was never really good at it. But um, I took this class and then I created this piece with the help of a friend. We got the inspiration from a 10 year old girl who loves horses. And so um, I decided to do this piece and I had this vision in my mind. And when I did, this is what I came up with. And then once I was asked by the leader there of my of the clubhouse I attend, she asked me to submit a piece of artwork. So this was the one I could think of submitting in. That is great. Shout, shout, shout out to your clubhouse. Which clubhouse are you from? The one here in Yucca Valley. Way to represent Yucca Valley in our low desert. Thank you very much. So next we have uh, Gina Plus. Gina? Hi, thank you so much for hosting this. This is fantastic. Um, all of the artists all have such great work. It's such an honor to be a part of this. Um, my name is Gina. I actually work with Partners Against Violence here in Yucca Valley. Um, we heard about this through one of our other partnering agencies here. So um, just wanted to be a part of it, show our participation with you guys in partnership. Um, this was painted during Sexual Assault Awareness Month, which was last month in April, um, shortly around the time that we observed Denim Day. So um, what my painting is, is just a watercolor representation that it doesn't matter what a woman is wearing or what a man is wearing. It is never an invitation for assault. And so I just wanted to paint this to kind of signify not only that it doesn't matter what you're wearing, but that if you were assaulted with the proper... Um, the proper therapies and just the proper agencies to talk to, um, that dignity can be restored and can be strengthened and can be healed. And so um, just kind of a little shout out, I suppose, to our agency and our clients here and, um, you know, just the strong people that we have as part of our team and the strong clients that we have as well. Watching their healing journey is amazing and being able to portray that through watercolor and watch Watching it all just come together as something that started with nothing and became something um, is really just kind of a beautiful portrayal for myself. Thank you so much, Gina, for the very beautiful symbol of hope. All right, so now we have Jess. Hi. Um, so this writing is a representation of just my thoughts when I have felt hopeless and have been questioning a lot of things. And these are just mostly moments when I've just had that spiritual connection with God and talking with God and just asking for the signs that I need to make sense of how I'm feeling. And in the literature world, a semicolon means that there's a break and the writer is choosing to continue on. Um, and the same thing if someone is to get a tattoo of a semicolon, it, it's a representation of continuing and making that choice to continue. So these are my thoughts on just the reflections that I've had and how I felt and just making that choice to continue no matter what through that spiritual guidance guidance that I've asked for. Thank you so much. I think it's a great reminder for all of us to just try and continue. Um, next, we have Jossa Jackson. Jossa? Hello. So my art piece is um, painted using acrylic paint on canvas. It's dedicated to this month's Mental Health Month. The idea behind the art is to hopefully be a reminder to pause, to take a break, and find your peace and serenity, to remember something beautiful and rejuvenate your, your mind, yourself, and to start over and keep moving forward. I sort of created this as a definition to resilience and being able to heal and keep moving, moving forward. Thank you. Thank you so much for the reminder about uh, how resilient we all are. Salamat po. 
And um, that's thank you in Tagalog, again. I'm uh, honoring Jasa as a fellow Filipina, as I'm also Filipina. Next is Laura Smith Boyd. Hi. Um, thank you for having me. This is kind of a cool thing. I drew this owl out of just a regular writing pen. I was pretty depressed and was just kind of in my own thoughts. But after I finished this owl, it dawned on me that this owl is probably me. So it kind of made me smile, made me feel a little bit better about myself because um, a, an owl is strong and mysterious and you rarely see them, but you always hear them. So that sounds about right for me. It sounds like who I am. So thank you. And very wise. Did you, how many pens did you use with this? Just three. one? Oh, three. That's a lot three. of ink. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. Thank you so much, Laura. And next we have Manny Cordoba. Manny? Uh, first one is just a drawing of, um, with the ocean view and the orca on, on the ocean. And, and um, the second one is a, uh, still life drawing. Um, both of these drawings, um, just give me just I was thinking of like, like a, a peaceful mind. So I just decided to uh, go ahead and draw these two things. And um, um, it was like a last minute thing. Um, when I when I realized that was a call for art. And um, the first one took me like about three hours to do it and the second one just about the same the same time. Annie, that's pretty amazing for a a quick three hours. That would have taken me three years to do. What what did you use? Did you use markers or did you use colored pencils? Um uh, I initially start with the with the regular lead pencil and then um then I trace everything with the with the fine ink pen. And then I, uh, uh, the third process is going with with the color pencil. So it's like a three process: first a pencil, then color, first a pencil, then ink pen, and then then the color the color pencil. That's so great. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. And next we have Sarah Snyder, and Sarah couldn't be with us here today, so she asked that we read it. So I'm going to uh, the thought behind her piece. This piece the part of me that feels broken at times and that others see as broken, simply judging me on appearance alone, but is I'm still strong, alive and beautiful in its own way. Resilience is definitely something I wanted to convey as well as surprising strength in areas where others assume you're weak. Any pers and perseverance as well, thriving in spite of circumstances, difficult events and assumptions from others to the contrary. That is Resilience from Sarah Snyder. So uh, I want to thank you all. Uh, thank you everyone for sharing your art and thank you for joining us here today. Your art and any art that we receive during this month will be compiled and it will be shared with our calendar committee and they will choose 24 pieces to include in our biannual calendar. And that calendar will be sent to all the artists as well as to over 5,000 people throughout our county and outside of our state and, uh, as well. So be on the lookout for our 22-23 desk calendar that should come out in December of this year. And lastly, be sure to join us on Friday, May 28th here on Facebook, as well as on our YouTube channel at 6 p.m. for our 17th annual Evening with the Stars event. Our keynote speaker is Ms. Michelle Williams, formerly of Destiny's Child, Grammy award-winning singer-songwriter, who will share her own story of resilience and recovery from mental illness. And until then, continue to celebrate the month of May, continue to rock your lime green, and I'll catch you on the well side. Thanks, everybody.
Thank you.